My wife and I are camping right now in Ludington and it's got great dark skies up here. So hopefully we'll get a chance to go down and uh, play around with the telescope. Um, I'm going to clean it and I thought this would be a good time to find out if you guys mathematicians out there could see exactly what percentage of uh, light we're gaining by this little technique I'm going to show you right now. Um, we got it out and we're going to clean it up a minute and put it back together and get it focused and hopefully we'll get to use it tonight be great just unscrewed it from the back and took it off and uh, cleaned all in here and there was just so much dust you can't imagine when you go to clean yours you'll probably see just how bad it really gets um, we got the uh, secondary already done and didn't won't have to change a whole lot on that but uh, to get it back in collimation but uh, it's all done the cells here uh, this is what we did years ago um, took these out the uh, mirror holding brackets and there's a piece of metal at the top of them that we separated put them all together and cut them with a hacksaw and then uh, painted them again so they wouldn't rust but you can see there's a little chamfer on the edge of your mirror right here so we wanted to go just past it just enough so that it would hold it safely they go quite a ways in I forgot exactly how far they went in but they went in quite a long ways you can see how dirty this is in the video too it's crazy um, the cell is quite deep and the mirror has to come out exactly straight up and down parallel to the sides or else it kinks sideways in there so these are I think it's quite safe if you don't think you should do it don't do it because they put them on there quite a long ways and then I'll show you how I go about tightening them back down but right now I'm going to uh, show you hopefully a picture straight up and down that you can see about how much we've gained they were way out here and they're over an inch wide they're probably an inch and a quarter wide and we got a 10 inch mirror so we've cut off for the math side of it we've cut off a probably three eighths of an inch by one and a quarter matter of fact I'm gonna measure that a minute please get a paper and pencil and I'll give you the uh, information in the next little bit but take the challenge and figure it out for me. I really need to know. It's driving me crazy. And I'll, I'll do the work too and see what we all come up with. Thanks. Okay, we're back. Uh, I found that I didn't have a tape, so I had to use my Leatherman. And we got the measurements figured out. Uh, it's a 10 inch mirror with four clips, one and a quarter inch wide, and three eighths of an inch deep that we took away. We still got a little bit, as you can see you know off the mirror but you gotta have some kind of safety device there um, the center is a two and three quarter inch mirror by three and quarter inch mirror but it's on a 45 degree angle so uh, the area figure out that area for a round circle at two and three quarters and a 10 inch mirror four clips one and a quarter by three eighths and we'll see if uh, the percentage was even worth it but at least it was something and it's probably a very minute amount, but it'll be fun to see what everybody comes up with. I'll try to figure it out, too. Maybe I'll go online and take a math course and see if I can figure it out. It'll be fun. Hey, hope you get a chance to get out soon. Uh, clear skies.